we got gifted this camera and we're taking it out for a ride. It's, um, it's a film camera, like a real film camera that we load film in the back and I'm pretty sure we're going to show how we did that. But anyways, there's real film in here. And um, what I had to do was play some like lens juggling because I had to put the lens I'm using, I had to put it on this camera so that I could kind of like set up my shot with this camera because it has a light meter. And um, then I had to put the settings on this camera and then switch the lens back. Anyways, it was a thing. So I'm going to take this. I've already set up my frame. I know the picture I'm going to take. I know the settings I need. They're already there. Oh shoot, I have to put my eye up to the, I have to go like that. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that was hard. Cause like, okay, the last shot I set up, I didn't realize there was this rank thing going on in the corner, which kind of messed up the shot, I think. But we'll see when we get this filmed. Picture number four. I think we should go this way. Cause I think that's where the other garden that we found was. I hear youths. <laughs> They're playing b-ball. Do they still call it b-ball? Alright. It's kind of dark, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Oh, that was some neat stuff, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright. Keep on keeping on till we find the light of dawn. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing some daylight shooting with a practica and the 50 mil. So let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. You know how scared I am? I'm scared that you're gonna fall. Sorry, water. There's not a lot of uh, depth here, so um, let's move on to the next location. We decided to uh, walk behind the neighborhoods and see uh, what we can find. We ended up finding a couple of different, um, different trucks and we won't get to see how it, um, we did until we develop it, but that's the fun of it. I don't even know if we're really close to anything I want to get right now. It's pretty standard. There's a lot of browns. And then some more browns. Look at this little collection of pine cones. You think a kid did that? There is the perfect spot. Then you're like, where exactly do I, do I want to frame it? And I keep changing my mind. But it's whatever, we got time. Is it worth it? Yes. The shadow was so nice. And it's just such a pretty symmetry. And you can see a little bit into the center of the hole. Well, the outside just has a really pretty texture. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, so it's 9 a.m. We're under the bridge heading from Fort Calgary to Inglewood. And we just spent another awesome morning filming with this Practica analog camera with the Yashinon lens and it has just been awesome. I took some pictures of some sunflowers that we're gonna see how they turn out. Johnny took some pictures of a station wagon. And like we mentioned earlier, we, we really played with um, light today. We wanted to see what we could do with harsh lines and silhouettes and it was a, it was a really good time. We are Somewhere in Upper Mount Royal. We just found a little side path. 
and said, let's go there. Do you think we'll find something worthy to take pictures of? <clears throat> I'm honestly not sure because, okay, there's plenty that would be really beautiful, but is it worth the expense of the film? <laughs> My eyes are in need of glasses. This is super cool. Uh, but I don't think it's worth the film. We'll come back. Oh, that's a nice view of a crane, though. No. It's not getting any of the green color. It's just looking... Looking like dirt? Like dirt. Like Joe dirt. It's the craziest season to film in because... Everything is so beautiful, and all the different colors all splash together. But they don't, like, no one thing stands out from the other because everything is just so bright and so beautiful and so, like, trashed in with each other. So there's no, like, single subject of a photo. I think that's why I like finding bugs. Hey, man. You want some nature? He doesn't want to go. You want to go do some nature stuff? There you go. He's there. Ooh, there he goes. If you leave something on the ground, you're most likely going to lose it because there's so many colors that just blend in. It's a nice autumn day. That was pretty cool. That was really cool. I don't think, okay, I've only shot with film once, and that was in high school in like shop class. Um, but then I did lots of disposable cameras in grade 12. But this is my first time filming shooting like this. Um, and I think it was, it was your first time too. I might have one more shot left. I'm scared like, Will it break? If I if I wind and it's older film and I don't know, maybe I'm just being paranoid. But I think I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know if we're gonna finish off here. Or if I'm gonna get one more go to get something cool. Um but either way, it's been super cool learning how to Take pictures again with film and really think about what you're photographing so you don't waste what you're doing. We almost missed the most fun part, winding the film. Is it supposed to go the other way? I think it is. Phil. Or maybe we're ruining the film. Who knows what's happening? But this definitely has more tension to it. Was all of that for naught? <laughs> Stay tuned. With the, oh, oh, whatever it is, it's done. It's done. I just felt it release. Should we open it up and see what's up? Go ahead. <sighs> Moment of truth. Oh, wait, this has got to come up. Whatever you are, you are our baby. And we'll love you, even if you're half frames and double exposures or just a whole bunch of rainbows over pictures because cause I did everything wrong. I'll still love you. Will you still love me? Subscribe now! <laughs> All right. Um, oh, look, it went down to one. I didn't, okay. Another thing, as I was winding, I was like, but the numbers aren't changing. And and so I was like watching and watching and watching. And then I was just like, well, let go and let God, am I right? And, <laughs> and at some point, all the numbers changed back to one. So one can only assume that I did it right. All right, let's go. Wow, guys. 
That was an awesome adventure we took with the Practica. Our first time out and we hit Inglewood, East Village, Hillhurst. We went up to Brentwood and North Hill Park. However, when we went to get these developed, it was blank. It was blank. We got no pictures. What a bummer. What a letdown. But I don't think it was a waste because it was so much fun going and exploring all of these places. And we are absolutely going to try this again. So guys, please stick with us. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of today and let us know how excited you are to actually see pictures next time. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.